You know, sometimes you're so stuck trying to learn advanced plays that you completely neglect the basics. And other times the game does such an incredibly poor job of teaching your player the basics in the first place that even after hundreds of hours of gameplay, you might still not even be aware of them. Going through the comments section of my Overwatch starter guide the other day, that was exactly what I found happened. A video directed at players to play for the very first time and yet a bunch of high level players didn't know some of the very basic things I mentioned in that video. So today we are going to count down 20 things in Overwatch that the game does not teach you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 1. The Payload Heals You Genji mains of the world rejoice because if you are in need of healing, playing around the payload is exactly the thing that you should be doing. And odds are that your healers will be somewhere around that neighborhood as well. Number 2. You can hack health packs by using EMP. That can be useful on maps like Temple of Anubis, where health pack control is very important and you're trying to one up the enemy Sombra or in situations where the enemies won't let you hack a health pack in peace. Number 3. You can cancel Zenyatta's orb volley by using melee. That makes sure you don't unnecessarily give away your position when you don't have LOS to any targets. Number 4. When it comes to payload movement and capture point speed, it maximizes upon 3 players being on the objective. Number 5. Soldier 76 has a little animation cancel trick that allows you to use his healing station and his ultimate at the same time, which can help you save a couple important seconds off your tech visor. Number 6. This has just recently been implemented in the game, so maybe not everyone heard of it yet. When Holding your shield up as Reinhardt, you can hold left click to turn your camera. While that allows you to instantly throw fire strikes in an opposing direction, you are still going to charge in the direction that your character looks at. Number 7. Hanzo's Dragon Strike does not destroy turrets or deployables of any sort. Number 8. Your quick play and competitive matchmaking ratings function completely separated. So feel free to practice anything you desire in quick play, it will not affect your rating in competitive play. Number 9. On capture points, your progression is counted in 33% steps. Essentially, nothing you do really counts until you hit the first 33% tick. From there on out, every percent matters when you don't completely cap the point. As long as you get a higher percentage tick than your enemies, with both of you not capping fully, you win. If you don't get 33% to begin with, you can draw the game by stopping the enemies from getting 33% on the point. Number 10. Winston's barrier can block incoming healing from Zenyatta's transcendence and it also blocks Lucio's beat drop. So please be mindful of his bubble if you want your supports to help you out. Number 11. You can rotate Mace Wall before placing it by pressing E again. I know this one is very basic but maybe some newcomers never watch the original trailers. Number 12. When playing Hanzo you can swap to a hero that actually helps the team by pressing H in your spawn room. Number 13. Healing damage at your team teammates cost themselves like through their own splash damage does not contribute towards your support ultimate progression. Number 14, a graviton surge can still affect you without direct line of sight. That includes you standing behind walls and the like as well. Number 15, Mikri's Deadeye automatically reloads your magazine and every shot you fire during your ultimate obviously decreases that by one. If you can land your shots reliably, getting that ultimate is very easy, so you could potentially use it for a quick reload in sticky situations. A very situational tip for sure. Number 16, Mikri again, his ultimate will always always go from right to left, disregarding HP and distance, even when the guy to your left is pretty much right next to you. Number 17. Sombra's hack only shuts down abilities that are not a state of change. For example, it does not shut down Soldier's tech visor or Genji's dragon blade, but it does take away their abilities which shuts down their mobility. Contrary to that, it does eliminate Lucio's beat drop, shuts down Rotox ultimate and generally makes it pretty difficult for you to play the game when hit by it. Number 18. There's no need for you to invest ultimates into a a team fight on King of the Hill when your team got upwards of 89% capture progression on the point. At this point all you need is one team fight afterwards to take the point back because chances of the enemy team coming back to the point in the time it takes it to progress 10% are fairly slim. Number 19. While Zarya's particle barrier saves her from getting half of her HP in form of regenerative shields to be deleted by Sombra's EMP, you still won't be able to use any of your abilities as the hack still goes through. And lastly, number 20. As Lucio you can maintain momentum by wall skimming which is the practice of wall riding for just a brief second to immediately jump off of it again. One of Lucio's abilities allows him to accumulate more speed by jumping off of walls. If you're good at wall skimming, you can chain wall jumps to get to ridiculous speeds. Fun fact, Mercy can also bunny hop to a certain extent, which functions in the same way by flying to somebody and hitting jump in the exact moment you hit the ground to maintain momentum. But this is it for me here today as I count down 20 things that I believe the game itself never teaches you. I hope that by adding so many 
many points, there will be at least one thing that you did not know before. But hey, if you got any more ideas for things that the game never teaches a player, as specific as it may be, feel free to let us know down in the comment section below. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like on your way out if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more and I hope to see you all next time.